Alright. Come on, you guys can do better than that. This is Carmen Show. There you go. There you go. Awesome. So, uh, so glad that uh, you know all the holidays were just recently passed and stuff. I like uh, I like the holidays. Uh, Halloween was a great holiday. I really enjoy Halloween. Anybody have a good Halloween this past year? Yeah. Uh, I had a little bit of a mix-up at Halloween this past year. I called up my friend and I asked him, I said, hey Joe, what are you doing for Halloween? He says, I'm going to go abroad. That sounded like a great idea to me, right? Well, Halloween day, I go over and I knock on his door and there's no answer. I call him up, I'm like, hey Joe, where are you? He says, I told you, I'm going abroad. I said, well, I'm abroad too. I'm at your house, I got my high heels on, I got my skirt on, I'm looking pretty good. He's like, no, stupid, I'm over in Europe. <laughs> well, that's a fine kettle of fish you get me into, right? So now I gotta walk home. And as I'm walking home, I'm getting these cat calls. These guys are rolling down the windows and they're like, hey baby, you wanna get in the car and go for a ride with me? I got a bag of Skittles. A bag of Skittles, I'm worth a Snickers at least. I mean, come on, I'm looking for yacht. You know? Holidays are great. I really like holidays. Thanksgiving, I really enjoy, but the one thing that I don't like about Thanksgiving that much is all the pumpkin spice stuff, right? Everything is pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice coffee and lattes and soaps and cake and perfume. It's like, you know what? If you want to make something pumpkin spice that's really going to help out people, when you eat a lot, what happens? You get gassy, right? How about they make a fart pad that smells like pumpkin spice? So when you're walking through somebody's kitchen and you let one rip, they're like, ooh, pumpkin pie. You don't want to eat that, though, I'll tell you. But it'll be a nice little pleasant surprise, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Christmas is another, another holiday that I enjoy. You know, Christmas is nice. I'm not great at getting Christmas gifts for my wife. Right? I have an issue sometimes because sometimes I don't understand what she wants. Like I asked my wife, what would you like for Christmas? And she says, I would like to have something fun, something exciting, something vibrant. I misunderstood the word vibrant. So I ended up ordering her something online and it came and I had to get her some D batteries and stuff. <laughs> oh no, no, it's not what you think, no, no. It was one of those nine inch long neck massagers with a two little oval uh, cups on the bottom that you can suction cup to your stand in case you need to, you know, reach over and grab it in the middle of the night to massage your neck, right? Thank you. She didn't like that too much, so now I use it as a coat hanger when I come in the house. <laughs> Coat up there. <laughs> you know, it's too bad because I've got eight of them now and I only have one coat. <laughs> uh, so, you know, like I said, Christmas is great. I really like it. And uh, I buy my animal, my, I have a dog, so I buy my, my dog a gift. Does everybody buy their dog's gifts or cat's gifts? You don't need a pet's gift for Christmas. I know a lot of people do, you know, and I really like to. Um, the only thing I don't like about animals and Christmas is tinsel on the tree and your dogs or cats eat it, right? It's such an annoying thing because when you look out in your backyard, you see nothing but these little silver mines in the yard. You're like, what is that? Where did it come from? Well, I'm walking behind my dog and she's got like tinsel streamers coming out of her ass and I go grab them and it's like I'm pulling anal beads out of her, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> so I try to keep the tinsel away from the dog, you know? Uh, so I'm glad the holidays are over for the most part. I mean, we've got things, uh, uh, what is it? Um, Irish, uh, thanks, uh, St. Patty's Day. Yeah, that's it. Right. I'm so lost in my own thoughts sometimes. But yeah, so St. Patty's is coming up, which is good. You know, I'm, I got a little Irish in me, so I like to drink and, and indulge, you know, so that's pretty good. But summer is what I'm really looking forward to. You know, summer is a great time. I really love summer. Um, uh, anybody know what you're supposed to do if your dog or cat gets uh, caught up with a skunk and you get sprayed? Tomato juice. Tomato juice. That's what everybody says. Well, in actual reality, you can use Massengill. And Massengill will eliminate that smell. And my wife and I found this out last year because... 
um, we, are, we own a small little farm, and we went out and bought a couple of uh, miniature donkeys. And one of my donkeys had gotten into the farm. Uh, you know, on the farm, got into a skunk den and got sprayed. So I had the task of going to Walgreens. And I went to Walgreens and I bought 70 bottles of mess and go up to the counter. And the lady at the counter is looking at me with this weird, perplexed look, perplexed look on her face. And she's like, why do you need all that? And I said, my ass really stinks, and this is the only thing that'll take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of got me in a, you know, pickle with things that I say. I, I, sometimes I say things that I don't really mean, you know, and it's it could be funny, and sometimes it could be hurtful. And I'll give you a quick little example, fellas. If your partner asked you to tell you to tell them the truth, no matter what, don't. Okay, because. I like to tell my wife the truth because she asked me, tell me the truth, be honest with me, right? So when you're honest, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. One time my wife comes up to me and she says, honey, do these shoes make my feet look big? And I should have said, no, your, your feet are small and fine, in case your girls would be so jealous of your little feet. What I said was, you have to have a new Fred Flintstone. <laughs> that got me out of the doghouse. Yeah. And then one time, she says, uh, honey, we're going to go out. I'm going to go put some makeup on. I said, okay. Well, she comes back out. She says, honey, how's this makeup look? I should have said, hey, a little touch up. You'll be fine. What I said was, hey, the circus is in town, and you're going to fit right in. <laughs> that put me into the doghouse. But the biggest one was, honey, does this dress make me look fat? And I should have said, no, you look fine just the way you are. But what I said was, no, honey, the fat around your waist makes you look fat. The dress is just a magnifying glass that makes it really stand out. That put me right in the doghouse. I mean, I'm in the doghouse so much the dog kicked me out and I'm starting to get fleas. I mean, I don't know why I'm not shaking and itching right now because I'm always in there. But, uh, all right, so that's going to do it for my set tonight. I want to thank you all for coming out. Really, really appreciate it. Please give a warm